Hello students, I want to explain this simulation vector addition. The first uh, option we have here is to uh, click on Explorer 1D. That means we're going to work in one dimension. So when we're working in one dimension, we can just pick a vector from this box we have to the right, and we can extend this vector either to the left or to the right. What I want that you see here is how uh, the values of the vector a, these uh, vector a in parentheses, uh, sorry, in uh, in between these um, uh, vertical bars means uh, that this is the uh, value, the magnitude of the vector a. Uh, this angle theta here is uh, the angle that gives you the direction, you know, when the vector points to the right. You have a uh, zero degree when the vector points to the left. You have 100 degree, and these ax and ay are the components of the vectors. So this vector uh, is is in the problem in one dimension. So we have just only uh, an x component, you know, because we are putting these along the x-axis. So you can just put as many vectors as you want here. You know, in this case, vector B is pointing in the same direction as vector A. I can put a vector C to know that will be pointing uh, to the left. And then I can just click in the vector sum. And when you click in the vector sum, then now we have here a vector S, S that you, you, you should be able to, sorry, to click on this vector is S, is this one. Yes. And you see that now which are the uh, dimensions, uh, that means the magnitude and angle and components of the vector S, that is the vector zoom. So uh, this is what we're working in one direction. Now, if we decide to work in, in two dimensions, right? Uh, here we have uh, a vector A. If I just put this vector A over here, okay, I can see now, uh, what is the magnitude of this vector, what is the angle, you know, and which are the components. I can just modify the angle as I want and also uh, the dimension of the vector. If I want to visualize the components, I can just click over here and then you see the components. You know, you already know uh, from this box uh, magnitude of the components, but now you can just visualize, you know, the components on the x-axis and y-axis. As you move this vector A, you can see, you know, how the components are going to change, right? How the magnitude of the components is going to change when you change the angle and the uh, magnitude of the vector uh, A in this case. Uh, you can also, for example, well, when you want to uh, reset this, just click on this button. And then now if you want just, for example, you can just put a vector A here uh, in the horizontal direction, we can put it back to B in the vertical direction, you know, and then now we can just say, okay, I want to find the vector zoom, so, uh, and I want that you show me the components, so uh, now I see the vector zoom here of these two vectors, I mean the resultant vector of the vector A and vector B, and just clicking on the vector, I can see now on this box, you know, the magnitude, the angle, and the magnitude of the components. Um, I can also explore here, these are options that is called labs, so let me reset this. So I can now put as many vectors as I want, right? And then I will find the resultant of several vectors, right? Like this, for example, I will use four vectors, you know? So you can define uh, what is the magnitude and direction just by moving the vector like this. I can do the same for this one if I want. But just make sure you know that in this case, you always put, you know, the arrowhead, for example, this would be vector one. The initial point of vector one is in the, on the orient. The arrowhead, um, or the initial point of vector two is on the arrowhead of vector one. The initial point of vector three is on the arrowhead of vector two and so on. So I will be adding just one more vector here that I will just put over here. 
so I have the addition of these uh, four vectors so what I'm going to do is to find the resultant vector is to get one of these orange vectors here and I will just uh, throw the vector from the initial point of vector 1 to the uh, arrowhead of vector 4 and if I now click on this orange vector I can see what is the magnitude of the vector you know what is uh, the angle and which are the components if I want to visualize the components I can just do this and I see now the components of all the vectors that are you know part of the uh, system including the component of the resultant vector so it's a very interesting uh, lab you know that let me practice and let me uh, understand you know how vectors work okay how we add vectors uh, how the magnitude and direction of the vectors change according with the components you know or how the component change you know when you've changed magnitude and direction of a given vector so it's, it's a pretty interesting lab so i hope you know that this short video is going to help you to understand how the simulation work and then you will be able to follow instructions you know that i give you in lab one thank you for your attention